hello in this simple tutorial i want to show you how you can easily process or how you can edit raw photos for those that fear shooting in raw because you don't know how to get back those nice and rich and popping colors the way you're looking at them at the back of your camera screen so this is going to be a tutorial for you and it's going to really help you overcome that phobia for shooting in raw and before you can proceed i just have a simple request Make sure that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can recommend or push this to more people out there who are interested in learning about this very wonderful topic that we have at our table today. So before you can start editing your images, you have to first of all look at the photo and look for what you really want to correct in that photo. Let me just repeat this. Before you can go ahead and edit any photo, make sure that you look at it and you look for what you have to correct in that specific photo so that you can correct those errors and go ahead and make some other final adjustments to your photos to make them look nice and better and for this case we have this image and you can see part of the information in the sky has been lost out and when we zoom in to the chart of the model or in her top you can see this yellow area is turning out to look a little bit pale and whitish so I just want to recover that information with do within those highlights and when we zoom in right here you can see that this pink area is a little bit over exposed and it is turning out to look whitish in some areas so I just want to fix that and I think one to fix is getting back some of the information within the shadow area of this outfit or the blacks and also to add some kind of contrast within the, the image and also make their skin pop a little bit more. So that is what we want to correct and we process later on. And I think it's getting rid of the redness within the skin tone. And I just want to show you later on how you can easily export a sharp image or a very detailed image into Photoshop to do a skin retouching. And you have that nice and rich information within a 16-bit image. Remember, when you shoot in JPEG, you tend to lose out on that opportunity of having to work with a 16-bit image, and you won't have that flexibility to recover these blown-out highlights in the images. So that is the advantage of shooting in RAW. So right now, like I said, we just want to recover the information within the highlights, and in order to do that, I tend to move the highlight slider towards the left-hand side, and that gets rid of those blown out details within her top. You can see the before and after before after with just a single slider. And you can see that now the, we still have information. We are just recovering information within the sky area. And in order to get back more information, I'm just going to take the highlights, the whites rather down, just like that. And this is going to make the image darker. And the next step may even worsen this. But don't mind about this we're going to come the blacks and take the blacks down because when we take the, the blacks up it is going to make the image rather pale in the darks or in the blacks but i just prefer adding contrast by taking the blacks down just like that to around negative 30 but this makes us lose more of the information within the blacks or the darkest areas of the image and in order to recover the information I'm just going to come to the shadow area and simply brighten up or open up the shadows and this is going to get back the information but I would recommend that you don't take it all the way up because that is going to be making the black areas or the darkest areas really gray in color and pale so don't I would recommend that you don't exceed 60 as you're opening up the shadows and this looks good so far and we have tried to balance the lighting issues within the image but as you can see there are cases whereby you have been shooting it may be an area that has maybe those green lights and maybe the area had either magenta or green and this is where the tint slider comes in so you can see that we have this tint slider i have not talked about white balance because when you shoot your images and maybe they are blue in color like the, your image has that kind of look just come the white balance slider and just warm it up just like that so always make sure to recover your image the best way possible by doing that I'm just going to 
come to the tint slider because that is what I was talking about in this case. So tint means that we can play around with the colors that are within the image. For example, like if I told you shooting in the in the environment with greens and the image was looking like this. Remember in Photoshop, the opposite of green is magenta and the opposite of magenta is green. So in order to eliminate the greenish feel within the images, if at all you have an image that has more greens, just come to the thin slider and take it towards as the magenta side. And that is going to be eliminating the greens in the image. Or if at all you had the image and it has magentas like this, make sure to move this works with raw images. For JPEG, you may have these colors already embedded for you automatically and you, you are not going to be having more flexibility working with this option. So if I told you your image had magentas rather, just come and move the slider towards the green side and it is going to eliminate that color from the image. So basically that is how the tint option works. And for this case, I feel like the skin tones of the models really have some reds in some areas and I just want to eliminate that by moving the tint towards the opposite of magenta which is green and I'm just going to just move that towards the green side. Then I feel like my image is a little bit underexposed because when you look at the before it is perfectly exposed. I'm just going to come the exposure and simply brighten up just like that. And now we have our image looking from this to this. So the next thing we want to do is adding some little bit of clarity to the photo. And I'm not going to play around with the vibrance because I feel like I have enough colors within the image overall. So we are going to come all the way down to the HSL panel and I don't recommend you to sharpen the images at this point because the sharpening mode that I'm going to be showing you later on in this story is going to be helping you to work or fix that or add that kind of sharpening to your images later on. So we're just going to come the color mixer option or the hue saturation and luminance option. And right now what I want to do, I want to eliminate the redness within the skin tones even more. And I'm going to come to the hues and remember how the hue works for example if at all you want to eliminate oranges within the image you have to move the hue of the oranges towards uh, the left hand side meaning you're going to be making the oranges more red in color just like that and if at all you want to eliminate uh, the orange the redness from the oranges you have to move the slider towards the right hand side to make that color yellow in color so we're just going to move that and we're going to do that like that and this is what i want to do i just want to eliminate the reds meaning i have to move the orange slider towards the right hand side to look more like the color beneath it which is the yellow so i'm just going to move it towards the yellow side and that looks good so i just want to make the skin tone pop of the models so i'm just going to come to the luminance of the oranges and simply brighten up that color and this is going to make the skin tone or the color of the, their skin pop and you can see the before after before after you can see that the image is really really lit and it has those nice and popping colors so next thing is you want to export the image into Photoshop to do the skin retouching and in order to do that we're just going to come and click on this option where you can see Adobe RGB and other information you may be having different words right down there so just come and click on that area you left click and now you have to come to color space and make sure color space is in Adobe RGB 98 and the depth remember you just want an image that has so much information within it because when you select an 8-bit image it means that you're going to be limited with information in the image and that's why I would recommend you select a 16-bit channel image and image resizing make sure that you leave it in the default resolution 300 by 300 pixels per inch and make sure you check this sharpen for option make sure it is ticked and the option I would prefer is sharpen for screen because we tend to post these images on social media and we just want the person looking at them 
to have that nice and rich detail within the image visually and now we're just going to count the amount and set it to high and after doing that just come and hit ok and after let's see what we have for the color grading or processing of the raw image you can see this is a before after before after and now you can come and open the image within photoshop to do the skin retouching don't hit done just come to open in order to open the image into photoshop to do the further skin retouching and basic correct corrections or blemish removal to your images so this is all for today's tutorial and if at all you haven't hit the like button and have been watching to this point i just request that you hit the like, the like button so that youtube can push it and recommend it to more people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating.